So we're going to move on to something that is a growing concern surrounding measles in Missouri. And we're looking at the aquarium because we just talked about an exposure at the aquarium in late April. State health officials confirm now a third case in Missouri near the boot hill. This comes after one infected person reportedly visited the St. Louis Aquarium last week. City health officials say an unvaccinated adult from Illinois visited the aquarium on April 30th between 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. They are now trying to contact many people who have been exposed likely. So we do know that one case was in Springfield, now the boot hill, now St. Louis. And so mm -hmm. it goes on and on. Joining us in studio is Dr. Patrick Reich, a Wash U pediatric infectious diseases physician. Dr. Reich, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's get started with what are you seeing in terms of concerns when you're dealing with patients and parents? Yeah, this is a great question. As you said, we've seen more measles cases across the country and a small number in our local area. Uh, so one of the biggest things on people's minds is what they should do about vaccination. The good news is we know that if you are vaccinated, it's highly effective for your lifetime. So if you've been vaccinated, you should be protected against measles. Okay, that seems easy enough, right? Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you were saying it had Texas, now Missouri, St. Louis. Yeah. And does it seem like this is happening to folks that were fearful of vaccinations? Maybe parents is what I'm saying uh, for their kids. It's more they're the ones that are going to be suspect susceptible to this, right? Uh, it's definitely true that those people who are not immune to measles are those who are susceptible. Um, but there are a lot of different reasons that people may not be vaccinated. Yeah. One of the most common ones is we don't start vaccinating until 12 months mm -hmm. of age such that young infants, for example, are at risk. Mm -hmm. And it's serious, right? I mean, I will say this. Okay, we get, and I mentioned this at the top of the show, whenever we post something about measles, we always get, stop fear-mongering, stop fear-mongering. But the reality is that there are some populations, especially babies, if they get measles, it can be very serious. It's not just red bumps. What else can happen? That's true. There definitely can be complications with measles. So the most common thing that we see are, are really nonspecific symptoms like low grade fever, cough, runny nose, red eyes, eventually high fever and rash. But a small number of patients can get things like pneumonia, uh, inflammation in the brain and, and need to be hospitalized. Mm. So it's really, really important to, uh, uh, to consider vaccination if you've not already been vaccinated and to know that if you have been vaccinated, you're protected. Yeah, absolutely. Thank good you so much. Good question from some viewers. Can you get revaccinated? That's or should you ever? That's a good question. And generally speaking, you don't need to do that. Uh, measles vaccination is really remarkable in that if yeah. you're vaccinated, you're protected for life. Uh, so as long as you've been vaccinated in the past, you're protected. Okay, wow. that's great. And we do have one question that I want to get to because I think it's interesting. Uh, this person said, I had the measles in 1959 before there was even a vaccine. Wow. And now I'm told that I'm immune from inf reinfection. Does this keep me from passively transmitting this to others if I am unknowingly exposed? That's, you're exactly right. If you've had measles in the past, just like if you've been vaccinated in the past, you're protected from future infection so that you're not at risk for either getting measles or exposing someone else. Wow. How surprised are you that this is popping up? Measles, not that question, but just general. Sure. You know, we see measles uh, uh, across the world each year. So um, in, in the setting of having uh, populations that aren't vaccinated, we expect to continue seeing measles in the future. Okay. And we just got another question in about the revaccination situation. Um, if someone feels like they might want to get revaccinated or if they're curious, can't you do a blood test? Didn't you mention that? Or, sure. or what should they do? Because this is says, okay, got my first vax in late 60s or early 70s. I don't want to talk about it with my doctor unless it's obvious I need to go <laughs> in. I'm over 55. You know, interestingly, this is the one group where another vaccine dose may be needed. There okay. was a different vaccine that was used in the early 60s. Um, and so if you were vaccinated oh. in the early 60s, you might be eligible for another dose and should talk to your doctor about it. Uh, but in general, if you've been vaccinated after the late 60s, you're protected and don't need to get additional doses. There is a blood test which can look for antibodies uh, that prove that you're protected. But if you know you've been vaccinated in the past, you don't need to get the blood test. Okay. 
You know what's wild though is I actually don't know if I've been. I'm vaccinated. pretty sure I've been vaccinated. I yeah. remember getting my vaccines as a kindergartner, you know, and getting. But then I'm like, it was the '80s. I don't know. Like I don't have my records. We might want to somewhere. do a blood test. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do Let's that do after this. this. <laughs> Where's Elizabeth Holmes? You know, I we know. can just send it to a machine and bring it out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it, it, okay. But know. should I go to my primary care physician and ask for that test or something? I'm. I probably won't because I'm you, pretty sure I got vaccinated. You know, honestly, I don't if you've know. got the regular vaccines that kids get, then you've got your MMR vaccine yeah. and you should be protected. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Do you have any last words or last thoughts that I maybe didn't add, that we didn't get to? I think the last message I would give is just that measles vaccination is really safe and effective and please talk to your doctor if you have any questions about it. Okay, Dr. Reich, so thank, great to have you. You. thank you. I hope that you, you did e great. I feel like you eased <laughs> a lot of people's concerns this morning. Mm -hmm. So really appreciate your time. Thank you so much.